and that continued for a while, and I got less and less enthusiastic, I guess, about it, and I started questioning it more as I saw more of the world. And my stepfather was never one to really answer questions beyond that. Well, we the Bible is true, so, you know, why are you even asking any questions? In fact, to this day, he says he would love to help me and answer all of my questions as soon as I believe the Bible is the 100% inspired word of God. But until then, he can't talk to me about it at all. <sighs> anyway. Um, and in college, I was my main transition towards atheism. And I really started thinking about all of these things and that it, it didn't really make any sense and I prayed to God and I prayed every damn night I was in emotional agony during many of those nights because I called out very deeply very profoundly and I begged God to make it me understand so that I could feel something I I didn't expect the clouds to part I didn't ask him to move something to prove his existence I just asked for understanding and I lay there in my bed at nights screaming on the inside, crying, because I couldn't get that connection that everyone else in my family seemed to find, seemed to get so easily. I was talking to a psychologist at that time about, well, some, about religion, but also other issues as well, um, with girls and stuff, and I was a little bit overweight, and he told me the most beautiful story about the universe, and what his views on it were. And it was this, uh, it's going to be the topic of my next video, but it was this beautiful, never-ending journey of growth and expanding and contrasting. I'm not doing it justice here at all. Um, but at that moment, when, when I, once I hung up the phone with him, I had this overwhelming feeling that everything was going to be okay, that everyone was going to be with God again, or at least whatever God would, is actually going to be. And I started laughing. Not the kind of laughing you do when you watch a Jim Carrey movie. I started laughing. That kind of laugh that when you, when you know everything's going to be okay, when you were so worried about something. Because I, I thought it was going to hell because I couldn't understand it. I worried every night when a truck drove by. I thought maybe it's a nuclear bomb and my life was over and I was about to go to hell. I was very scared. But, no... I laughed for 15 minutes. I couldn't stop. And it was great. Um, I was literally high, stoned, for two days. I guess I triggered some type of major release of endorphins. It was, it was like you were stoned, but I didn't feel inebriated at all. I just felt incredibly happy. Um, like, nothing could bother me. And even women were suddenly attracted to me for this magical two-day period. One girl said, you know, maybe that I was part of her, you know, astrological monthly thing where, you know, we were destined to meet or something like that. And after the two days later, she suddenly stopped talking to me. But anyway, it's neither here nor there. I'll get more into that whole thing um, next time, but yeah. Those were my two, the, the whole feeling calm and the laughter, and the laughter, uh, were my two spiritual experiences. And the latter, thinking back, is incredibly consistent with a massive dump of, you know, endorphins from having all of this worry built up into me for a long time. I'm sure the Christians are going to say, no, it was God touching you, although if it was, then it certainly wasn't Jesus, because this revelation had nothing to do with him whatsoever. Uh, John L. Armstrong might have something to say and uh, get a victory over this, and that's at best. But um, after that, I just kept thinking about it, and I tried. Um, I, I gave the Bible one more shot, and I prayed to God, please, to open my mind and open my heart, and that was it for me. I read the Bible after for a couple months, and praying every time to give me understanding and it only drove me further away. I tried my damnedest. So when people say that I'm just trying to defeat religion today, that I'm just trying to deny the truth, it makes me laugh and slightly offended because it couldn't be further from the truth. I tried 
with every fiber of my being to hold on to that belief. I did everything I could. I couldn't do it. The evidence to me seemed overwhelmingly against that belief. And it didn't make any sense. So I wrote a paper, called it The Philosophical Proofs, gave it to my family, gave it to my pastor, who told me that I need to be put my ladder on the right wall, and that's about it. Uh, you already know what my stepfather said. And uh, started a YouTube channel, called himself The Honest Discussioner, and uh, here I am. And that's been my story so far, or at least as far as I could try to condense it into a 10 minute YouTube video. Thank you for, uh, thank you for listening. Have a nice day. Honest Discussioner, out.